The Great White North fights back against COVID-19. Canadian universities are front and center tackling this crisis and tracing its impact on our lives. This is Universities Fight COVID-19 from Radio Estra. Each episode will tell you about COVID-19 related research and commentary coming out of Canadian universities. Today's episode is from Dalhousie University. COVID-19 forced many Canadian employees to start working from home. At first, many businesses had no choice, but now employees and employers are liking it as it benefits both. But here's another idea that's picking up steam, the four day work week. The idea appeals to many, especially amidst a pandemic. Families struggle to cover childcare in the absence of daycares and schools. Workplaces are reducing the number of employees gathering in offices each day. A shorter work week could help. Parents could cobble together childcare, workplaces could stagger attendance and maybe divide the available work among more people who need employment. A four-day work week is when full-timers clock around 30 hours instead of 40. But the salary, ideally, remains the same. In fact, studies show that workers are as productive in 30 hours as they are in 40 because they waste less time and are better rested. Shorter work weeks reduce the number of sick days taken. And on their extra day off, employees are not using office supplies or utilities, reducing their employers' costs. Those same studies have also shown something that wouldn't surprise us. People like working less. So why don't we have a four-day work week already? Part of the answer, according to some thinkers at least, is that we are extremely attached to the idea that hard work is virtuous, idle hands are dangerous, and that people with free time cannot be trusted. But it's not some conspiracy between evil governments and evil bosses plotting to keep powerless people busy. In fact, during the Great Depression, there were lots of interest in the 30-hour work week as a way to share the work amongst unemployed and underemployed citizens. Industrialists like Henry Ford supported six-hour days because they thought that more rest meant more productive workers. But some employers cut wages when they cut work hours. Employees fought back, dropped their demand for shorter hours, and asked instead for wage increases. And what's more, throughout the past decades, we have shifted from demanding more leisure to demanding more work. So it could be that when COVID-19 is over, we might do the same and ask to be put back to work five days a week. But as we found out a few minutes ago, there are convincing reasons for the four-day work week. It could also be that we have finally given up on the false promise that working longer means better lives. This story was adapted from Karen Foster's conversation article, The Days Dawning on a Four-Day Work Week. Foster is a sociology and social anthropology professor and Canada Research Chair in Sustainable Rural Futures for Atlantic Canada at Dalhousie University. 